Hello everybody, Sarah here with you and I'm back with another how to draw video. This time I'm uh, drawing or showing you how to draw a samurai. I've got this requested so what I've done here is I just draw my basic structure or the basic pause where I'm going to be drawing on the samurai details. Now uh, as you can see here this is a quick sketch for me trying to make like a samurai concept but done like in fi 5 or 10 minutes just to show the basics of a samurai costume I looked onto Google and uh, I found some you know costumes um, actually all the costumes to make you kind of imagine what the samurai costume look like they look so much like uh, uh, bleach soul reapers costumes but they're not black most of bleach stuff is black or actually all of it um, they, they tend to be more of a color for it. there's a very good example from Inuyasha I think the main uh, there are some female characters I don't know, remember their name they're wearing something like red from the top uh, I'm sorry white from the top and red from the bottom um, which is tends to be more of a female samurai look but I'm gonna be drawing like a male uh, samurai look I'm gonna be doing like the basic male samurai look because there is another samurai look which will, which will be like uh, with the shields and the headgears it's kind of it's hard to draw with all these details because they got like lots of stuff in there so I'm gonna be just drawing your basic kind of um, your basic kind of samurai style which we tend to see in a lot of animes so um, this is my friend here, I, I just came out of the blues and made him. The base is an etch and I'm gonna be drawing in 4B to the purposes for the for the for you know for this video in order the pencil to appear. Again, if you're still a beginner, don't tend to use dark tones right from the start. Okay, so the basic thing of course about a samurai uh, is the sword. They're always holding this a uh, very long very long uh, sword which is here of course I didn't use like a ruler I just made it like completely random and uh, now of course I gave him like a small knife here which is something you know like I did because I wanted like a certain pause or whatever you can call it I just want to make him more of a bit of a dramatic kind of uh, samurai even his eyes is kind of dark so anyways Let's start explaining on how the costume looks. First of all, uh, if you have like a line over here, this is like the half. We would bring a V-shaped look over here. And another one. But careful what I'm gonna do. Just gonna draw this coming over until it reaches almost very much the waistline. And here, um, this is like where they tied the, the, the bow or I don't know what the, this is called but they, they tend to like wear this piece of cloth around um, around their clothes and um, some of them kind of have like a bow shape like here So, um, remember there are stuff that can cover a little bit, you know, this one is appearing in front of this bow so, or this thing that I drew. So technically, the, the this one won't appear, but the, the edge of the sword will appear because this is the front view. Okay, so um, let's move ahead with the um, upper part. Now, I don't know why, I just noticed that most of these samurai people tend to put, wear like two pieces of cloth this one is white but this one could be like another color uh, anyways uh, let's start by drawing like the sleeves this one is gonna be a little tricky because of the details first let's just finish this it tends to be a little bit of um, uh, loose so the cloth isn't actually like sticking to the body as you can see, I'm just making like normal, um, 
you know, I don't want to, like, I don't know how to put a lot of details in closing, so I'm just giving, like, normal details. Not over the top, but it indicates that the claws is not, like, stuck on this character's body. So, yeah, this is, like, the basic, you know, a basic of basics, if you're drawing, like, close details. Let's start with the sleeve. Now, let's go to the sleeves. The sleeves tend to be more of really, really, like, big and, um... There's a lot of cloth. If you have seen Bleach, you know, that Ichigo, he's wearing like, uh, his sleeve is always like, really, uh, you know what I mean. It's just a very, very big sleeve, especially from this part. Probably would be better if I showed you. Yeah, this is why I tell people to go with an etch base because you tend to raise a lot and you don't want to leave marks so since this is a very kind of big sleeve as you can see over here I'm gonna add some marks to indicate that the sleeve is kinda going like um, um how should I say this? It's a little bit wavy in a form because he's moving his hands all the time so there's like these kind of marks and this is kind of a favorite mark where I always draw the elbow it shows an indication that the hand is kind of bent with the clothes especially so I like that mark it's a general thing you can put it in any kind of clothes And uh, let's go to the other. Just let's um, quickly kind of uh, add a little bit of darker tone to the knife and the hand. Now let's go to this hand where you're going to actually see more of the sleeve details and how big the sleeve can be. Remember that wherever the sleeve is falling is with the direction of the hand. For example, as you can see, the sleeve is falling like this because he's raising his hand, so it goes with gravity. Well, with this side, it's going with gravity. So uh, be careful where the gravity direction will be to know um, where the sleeve will kind of fall. And since this guy is wearing two pieces of cloth, we're going to give him like this little extra part because it tends always to appear like here and here. And don't forget to add some little bit of close details. If you're not very expert, don't overdo it so it won't be like on the over the top thing. Now let's darken my friend's face so he would appear a little bit because his face kind of is disappeared or very very much in a light tone there very angry angry looking fellow much by the way about uh, samurai hairstyles but I've seen there are a couple of c characters you know with their hair tied and so I decided to love my friend here to have like really a long ponytail till his back over here and it will be like tied uh, a tied ponytail um, now let's go or in part two I'm gonna be showing you the other half because I'm running out of time so wait for part two where I will explain um, the other half of this drawing.